Connor, before your senior club career even started, you were a World Cup winner, part of England's successful under-17 World Cup campaign in 2017. Do you know who the first group game came against? That's a difficult start. First group game. Say <laughs> Mexico. Very close. That was the second one. We did play the Mexico. We did, yeah. I was giving it a big and saying, I'm good at this game. <laughs> That's a terrible start. Uh, which England player won the golden boot in the tournament? Um, Ray Brewster. Which England player won player of the tournament? Phil Foden. Right, let's get to your club career then. You made your professional debut for Chelsea under-21s in September 2018. Do you know who the opponent was? There's a few games I remember in the Czech yeah, trade. You played four that season. Four, didn't you? yeah. I know Plymouth and Wimbledon, Peterborough. That was a one. I'm not saying that's it. Yeah, no, no, that's fine. Yes, yeah, so you've got three. The only one that you're missing is the first one. That's missed the one <laughs> yeah, I needed. Yeah. <laughs> you want the answer? Yeah, go on. Mm. Newport. I think it's 5 1. Oh, you lost 3 0 your first one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> the 2nd of August 2019, you signed for Charlton on loan. Made your debut a day later. Yeah. Can you remember who that came against? The Blackbird. And the score? 2 1. You scored your first goal a week later. Who did that come against? Stoke. The score? 3 1. <laughs> yeah, right now, Fine then. now. So you left Charlton in January yeah. and you signed for Swansea. Which fellow Chelsea youngster also signed for Swansea? That was M Mark Gurhey. Well, is that the right way to pronounce it? Gurhey? No, it's not right. Is it not, not right? right? Me and Mark are best mates, but I, I can't say his you name. You can't say his name. You joined West Brom on loan for the following season. Yeah. Five days later, you made your debut against Brentford in the League Cup. Yeah. Which Chelsea legend did you line up alongside that day? Uh, Ivanovic. Your first Premier League goal came in November 2020. I'm sure you won't forget this one. Who did that come against? Sheffield United. I read an interview with your brother Josh while you were at West Brom. He was beaming with pride that you were doing the business in the Premier League. You're the youngest of four footballing brothers, right? Josh and Jacob on the books at Fulham, yeah. down at AFC Wimbledon, and then you at Chelsea. At the time, he said that even then you would still play football in the garden as the youngest, all the lads would try and kick you around the pitch. Is that still the case now that you're <laughs> the most recent captain of Chelsea? The pecking order <laughs> changed somewhat? Yeah, no, it's not, it's not the case so much anymore. <laughs> uh, I think when, whenever we play in the gardens together, they're, they're a bit more careful. Yeah. Or it's me kicking them. Uh, as all older brothers do, in that same interview, he tried to uh, show you up a little bit. Um, he said that um, when you came back from West Brom, your mum always would run you a bath. Is that, <laughs> uh, is that still the case? Does your mum still run you a bath when you come home? First of all, I, I can't believe Josh's done this interview. And <laughs> I'm, I'm, I love a bath, and if I'm at home at my mum and dad's, I'll just give my mum a shout and say, rub me a bath on for me. <laughs> exactly. You joined Crystal Palace the following season on loan. You won player of the year there. 34 games in the league. Yeah. How many goals? Eight goals. Palace reached the FA Cup semi-final. Chelsea, the opponents. Unfortunately, Thomas Tuchel said that you weren't allowed to play against your parent club. How hard was that to take? It was really hard. Um, obviously, to be on the journey uh, with Palace to get to the semi-final was was great. And you know, you get to the semi-final and you want to play that as well. And yeah, it's. it's it's annoying that he came against Chelsea. Didn't that bring about a, a bit of an awkward meeting with Thomas Tuchel at a pub though? Tell me what happened. Yeah, no, I was just out for lunch with my parents and my, my girlfriend and um, he turned up at, uh, with a couple of the staff and... Did you tell him there and then, I want to play next season? It wasn't even me, it was, it was, it was my dad. He, <laughs> he goes, any chance of him being able to play in the, in the semi-final? He was like, no chance, and just, and just laughed it off. You've gone from strength to strength, a regular in the team now, big European nights and even captaining your boyhood club in recent weeks, following in the footsteps of your idol Frank Lampard. How do you rate your chances of sticking at the club for the long haul and, and beating his record of 211 goals? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I need to score one, one this season first. <laughs> <laughs>